is that this is supposed to be magnetic. Oh, do it if you want to do it. I'm just gonna say it's gonna be hot though. Mm. Hello Kylie's, it's Mary and welcome back to the Kylie Closet. If this is your first time visiting my channel then welcome, if you're attending then welcome back. So jumping right in, today's video is going to be a blow drying video. Now, I was kindly sent this Dyson supersonic blow dryer um, complete with concentrator nozzles and a diffuser which I haven't even opened yet and I was also sent along with it this new wide tooth comb attachment so I'm very excited to try this out so I've been considering blow drying my hair for a while since I'm at home a lot more now I might as well give it a go and see what this blow dryer is saying but just reading the claims we have the Dyson Supersonic fast drying, no extreme heat, engineered for different hair types. And then it's got like all of the bits, all of the things listed here and here that it does, all of the features. Like you've got options like, look, you've got the styling concentrator, you've got the smoothing nozzle. So these two are actually different for different purposes. Um, and then you've also got a diffuser. And then of course you've got the the pick attachment as well so you got options with this which is good I'm trying to lean this this way for you so you can kind of see what's inside the box you've got the blow dryer the two nozzles the diffuser what's this is that a heat mat i'm not sure <laughs> and a little guide oh and a little attachment here very cute so as i guess this is a non-slip mat i'm just going to put it down right here the my little space this is cute, mm, I like. Now I'm not going to be able to try out all of the different attachments and stuff in one go, but what I do want to try out today is the hairdryer and the pick attachment because this is a newer addition to this product. Okay, so this is the blow dryer head. You can see there's two buttons here two buttons here as well i believe these are for the speed and also for the heat settings this is the on off button and this is i believe this is the cool shot you can see it has a quite a unique design it has a nice kind of slightly rubberized barrel and of course it's branded dyson um, and then of course the cord and this is the pick attachment very simple, steely grey colour and the actual teeth are triangular, it doesn't have like the two coming up at the side, it's just one row of teeth. So one unique thing about this blow dryer is that this is supposed to be magnetic. Oh, okay, this can rotate round nicely. Oh, you know what? That's quite a strong magnet, actually. That's pretty strong. I'm liking this already. <laughs> I was a bit worried about this because I was thinking, how is it going to stay on? But the magnet that's in there is pretty strong. It will hold. I'm hoping it holds when I start blow drying my hair because, you know, sometimes you have a blow dryer that you think is strong, but natural hair is stronger. So just plugged it in. I'm very happy because the cord is very long. I love that. So there are three speed settings or three airflow settings and four heat settings. This is where the air goes in and apparently it can be cleaned quite easily. So just taking my hair down. Yeah, it looks a bit mad right now. But you know, I was rinsing and one of my twists came out. So here we are. But my hair is clean. I use the Pantene Gold series to wash my hair and condition. I'm going to use a little bit of the hydrating buttercream, a little, not a lot. And then I'm going to be adding some of the intense hydrating oil. It doesn't say that it can be used as a heat protectant, but it does have silicones in it and silicones are great for heat protection. So like literally that much on this side of my hair, like towards the ends. And then I'm just adding that much. Nice. On this side. So starting from the back, 
I'm just going to use my tangle teaser just to detangle. Here we go. That's on the maximum heat setting. That's hot. Like it's not, it's not blazing heat like it's going to burn off my hand. Like nothing, nothing that serious, but it's definitely hot. I'm going to start with medium heat and medium speed. No. Body nice. See, I got them hurt, them are moving right. See, they get them, I got me. My hair feels nice, doesn't feel dried out. The ends, though. I'd really like the ends to be a bit, I don't know, I'd like them to be a bit straighter but when you've got a pick attachment it's not easy to do that. It feels soft though, it feels really nice, it still feels strong. Um, I also noticed as well, going through it quickly with the blow dryer was very easy because the teeth are actually quite widely spaced apart but going slowly made the most difference actually. Like I noticed a massive difference when I went through it one time slowly, how much stretch it gave my hair straight away. Nice, okay. It was quick, it was really quick. I'm gonna take out this section here, put a little bit more of this on. We comb through this, sorry, brush through it. Then my makeup, bad man, feel all right. Yeah, yeah. Man, I tell her, she gone low. Say, you gonna get me when I'm on low. Man, I tell her, she gone low. Bad man, I put you in a photo. Down, down, she put me on a rundown. Go down, she had give me on a loop now. Go down, anywhere you wanna go now. Batman, me, I put you on a first class. No, 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 no. That took a little bit more going, but that's because I was really trying to get into the roots this time. I do like the size of this because it's quite compact. It doesn't feel really bulky, and then it has to be really awkward to try to you know like move it around it's i like the size it's got weight to it but it's not overly heavy it's doing a nice job so far um loving it actually i'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see my hair but the ends could do with a bit more blow drying for sure but in terms of like getting to the roots and stuff hey listen it's really it's really gotten in there I'm excited to see what the results are going to look like. So baby, what you can't do? Calling all your friends when they come through. I'm very happy because my hair doesn't feel like it's been like burnt to a crisp. <laughs> It feels dry, but it doesn't feel dried out. I'm also quite impressed for the, the job that it's doing on medium heat. This is not even high and it's getting my hair pretty straight and pretty fast too. And I like the results, they're very consistent. Mate, I think I might be blow drying my hair more often. <laughs> There's only one slight danger I can see so far, which is both a pro and a con, and that is, if you're scared of heat damage, I would say put it on a slightly lower setting. Reason being, by the time it starts passing through your hair, you're going to start enjoying it so much that you're just going to be giving it extra passes just because it feels nice. I know this section is blow dried, but just because I like how it feels, I'm just keep, I just keep going. You know as well, I'm loving like the body it's giving as well. She want, say she really want, she try to be the one. Ah, calm down, take it slow. Say the key, I let my phone in, I'm in the yard, let my give you low. If you trip it, let me know what you really want. Is it riding with me or you really dirt? Let my girl, let my tell me that you really not. I'm actually loving it. I'm having a really good time. It didn't take that long. I didn't time it, but it felt pretty fast. I love this whole mechanism right here. This whole thing is working for me. 
first of all the fact that this rotates so easily is great you know like you have those blow dryers where you have to kind of stick it on the end and then if you need to rotate it it's a problem you have to really pull it off and then put it back on and then sometimes you put it on too tightly and then it won't come off and you it's a lot of issues trying to like move it around and but with this look like i can literally be in the middle of blow drying and just turn this around and the magnet is strong like i really seriously thought when i saw other people using this that the, this was gonna come off i was expecting it to fly off but it hasn't it really hasn't it has a really strong magnet which i'm very impressed by it's a little bit loud in your ear but then which blow dry isn't loud in your ear really let me come a bit closer so you can see my results so far it was on a medium heat setting which felt like medium around here but once it gets into it it gets hot it gets quite hot so i didn't need that kind of heat round by my fragile <laughs> it's not that fragile but you know what i mean i didn't need that much heat by my hairline i used it to kind of blow dry out my my undercut at least to the best of my ability with a slightly lower heat so the lowest heat setting I'm more impressed than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. She want, say she really want, she try to really want. Ah, uh, calm down, take it slow. Say the key, I let my phone in, I'm in yard, let my give me low. If you trip it, let me know what you really want. Is it riding with me or you really dirt? Let my girls, let my tell me that you really not. Make up your mind, let me know if you really got. Overall, that was a very pleasant experience. It was really nice, actually. I'm not gonna lie, like sometimes the whole process of blow drying my hair isn't always the most relaxing and that's one of the reasons why I don't really like blow dry my hair very often but in this particular situation I can say blow dry my hair was a very very pleasant experience. This side took longer than this side because I have more hair on this side and also I'm right handed so getting in here was a little bit more awkward but not terribly so, don't be fooled by the size of this blow dryer if you see it in real life it doesn't look very big but it is quite powerful and with the medium heat setting that i put it on that is hot i don't even want to know how hot the maximum setting is going to be that would be blazing heat i mean somebody might need their hair to get that straight so you can i would say do that at your own risk and for me the medium heat setting was already hot enough but you might really want a really 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 straight blow dry in which case i would say the maximum setting could work do it if you want to do it i'm just gonna say it's gonna be hot though getting towards my ear and stuff i was like oh, wow the heat okay <laughs> the heat but you know what i'm happy because it is powerful and you know if you're gonna buy a blow dryer you want it to do what it says it's gonna do you want a variety of heat settings but you also want to know that if you need it to really go hard it can do it and this this definitely can my ends are not very very straight i try to move slowly through the ends and also hold my hair while I was passing the blow dry through just to kind of try to get the ends fairly straight. I know that for sure if I wanted to really get the ends of my hair very very straight I could use either the concentrated nozzle or the smoothing nozzle. I love the fact that this blow dryer does come with multiple attachments including a pick. It can fit your hair needs depending on your hair type and texture. This is just so nice like it fits nicely in your hands. The size of this is nice, you can just grip it well. This magnet, this magnet right here, did not fail one time during the whole blow drying process. I also like the fact that the settings for heat and speed, they're touchable, but they're not in the way. So, you know like for example with some other blow dryers, when, you're, when you've got the controls around here, then when you go to use the blow dryer, either you turn it down accidentally or you switch it off accidentally. Like that doesn't happen with this. For where these are, when you're holding it like this, it's not in the way of your fingers. And to adjust the heat and the speed, you're gonna have to touch up here. They're in a good spot, but they're also just out of the way enough that you don't touch them accidentally, which is great. I guess the main question is overall for the Dyson Supersonic. with. The white tooth comb attachment is it worth the money 
Bearing in mind, in the UK, this retails for £300 and the white tooth comb attachment is £30. So that's £330 in total. In the USA, that is $400 and the white tooth comb attachment is $40. That's a real investment. Honestly, if you blow dry your hair often, I would say yes, I think it is worth the money. Because, number one, even though my hair is blow dried, it does not feel completely dried out. Number two, it does have some features to it that are not easily found on other blow dryers, at least not any that I've come across. Even simple things like just being able to switch it on, switch it off, adjust the heat and the speed without actually interfering with the settings while I'm actually blow drying my hair. The fact that this is magnetic and rotates so easily while still staying on and not having to be taken off midway through blow drying. It stays put, like you don't have to fight it off and fight back on. You know like those times when the pick flies across the room, have you ever had that happen to you? Comment below and let me know has that ever happened to you because it's happened to me and people who have been blow drying my hair multiple times. <laughs> you can actually see how thick my hair is, clearly. And it didn't fly off once. Plus it does come with a diffuser and two different types of concentrator nozzles. So I feel like if you are a person that blow dries your hair a lot at home, this is definitely a great investment. And also the experience of blow drying my hair with this was just lovely like it went quite smoothly sis I, I think you should buy it I know somebody's gonna ask me is this the Dyson supersonic is it better than the Revair just the fact of this pick attachment this wins because you know with thick natural hair especially if you want to do like certain braided styles after you've blow dried your hair you want your roots to be smooth and I'm just showing you here this is how my roots look after using the diapers and supersonic and my hair feels so soft it's actually so gorgeous I'm actually just playing with it now like playing in the ends it's lovely I would say on balance that's one thing that the Revair is missing there is no attachment that can get right into your roots in the same way but it's a bit tricky for me to really compare the Dyson and the Revair right now because I haven't used the Revair in a while. But if you would like me to do a complete video comparing the Dyson and the Revair, then comment in the comment section below and let me know that that's what you want to see. I'll do my best to get that video done. Then you know which one of the two you want to invest your money in. Because to be honest, £350, like... 400 and odd dollars that's a good amount of money unless you just got it like that sis if you got it like that sis bro if you got it like that props to you but i know that there are people who will want to buy either this or the revair so yeah let me know in the comments below and we'll go from there okay kylies so if you enjoyed this video then please share it with a friend also if you would like more blow dried hair content from me because i'm going to be doing some styling then hit the red subscribe button below you can also hit the bell for notifications wishing you health happiness and beautiful hair i'll see you again soon take care bye say she want say she really want she try to be the one i calm down make it slow say the key i let my call me now me yeah let me give me low if you're tripping let me know what you really want is it riding with me or you really dirty let my girls let me tell me that you really not make up your mind let me know